Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Polynerdic Playtest. We're doing this one live like we've done so many others in the past, especially since we got this nifty new setup that lets me push a button and make words appear on my screen. <laughs> um, we're looking at Minecraft Dungeons today. It just came out Tuesday, May 26, 2020. Uh, I've played just the opening of the game at this point, just enough to get a feel for it. So I have not done Mission 1. I apologize for the air conditioning. I still have not determined if it is too loud to, to operate while I use this mic. Uh, it was one thing when I was sitting on that side of the room playing on that TV and streaming from the PlayStation or the Xbox. I'm hoping the you know 10 feet difference here uh, will we'll play out and the audio won't be ruined. I apologize if it ruins the audio in this video. I have not seen it yet as we are recording it live right now. So I don't know how obnoxious that air conditioner just was. I have it set to, to cycle on and off as it warms up in here. I uh, try to keep it at about 77 degrees in the house because it uh, feels like garbage in here right now. Um, but... We're playing Minecraft Dungeons. We're playing it single player. We're playing it offline. It can be played with friends, couch co-op, and online. As soon as you look at it, you can tell it's Minecraft. I mean, it doesn't get much more Minecraft looking than that, now does it? Um, I picked my little adventurer here. The, the game lets you pick from about a dozen presets, and then there's some DLC options. No character creator, which I think is kind of, kind of poop. Um, but it is... Uh, it is very Diablo-esque in that here's the first mission of the game. All I've accomplished is down here uh, in, in the lower left-hand corner of the bracket, um, Squid Coast. All you do is walk through and you kill some enemies. Um, so we're going to do creepy Creeper Woods. It's the first mission of the game. The plot of the game is this Illager was seeking help, seeking help sanctuary and he was turned away by the villagers so he came across an orb of obedience i think is what they called it and now he is the arch illager and he's like this super powerful mage he has an army of illagers they're the gray villagers you see here uh, imprisoning the regular villagers um and this is a dungeon crawler style game um in the vein of diablo there's loot uh loot is better um you know your loot's better if you're playing higher difficulties but there's actually a story here which i think is interesting are illagers new to the minecraft mythos because they weren't a thing last time i played minecraft So level one of the game, you have a dodge that is on the right bumper, but it's also on the right stick, and it uh, it has timed a, t a cooldown. Uh, I think it's interesting that attack is on the A button, and there doesn't appear to be a jump button, so it's literally just like that. I don't know if that's is that gonna explode. I can't tell. Picked up and throw it. That's a mighty explosive dynamite there. I couldn't tell. Did it wreck the environment? I think it did. I'm going to turn this up a bit too. That's another problem with the air conditioner. Makes it much harder to hear the television. Combat's very simple. You have a bow and arrow. Can we keep him at range? Of course, um, you have limited arrows. Oh, he's very tough. He's a very tough zombie. Got my regenerative pork. All right, I've defeated 50 enemies as you just saw on the screen.
I mean, it feels like a Minecraft game. Minus the jumping and building. I mean, I've always dug this kind of game. If you watched this past weekend, I, you know, I played some Children of Morta. Uh, similar perspective. Not necessarily similar game, but similar perspective. Um... But it is a dungeon crawler. Get out of here, Squidward. <laughs> yeah, just magicked out of here. Nice. Don't worry, I'll keep fighting. My way through this. Uh, we just received uh, Nope, not what I wanted Looking for this button. Nope, not that button either um, Inventory what is inventory is up. Okay, so I have a sword that's better now, so Although the sword I had was enchanted and had leeching effect on it So I was drawing a small percentage of health away with that other sword. Bow and arrow, not, not the best. Not the most fun. My swiftness. Yeah, I don't find the bow and arrow stuff to be that... that I don't find it to be that that fun at all. Um, it's functional, but only just. Man, almost no damage. He does have armor on, I guess. It just feels really weird to be playing a Minecraft game that isn't focused on building primarily. You know, like. No, I'm not feeling lost. Okay, yeah, I'll look at the map. I did that just to appease the thing. But, like, limiting your speed to this. Because I don't think there's a faster one. You don't seem to move any faster. Okay, the objective's up there in the corner where I can barely see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Creepers. It's all a creeper down there. Do they explode or no? They don't explode when you hit them. Interesting. I would have figured they would explode. Good, good range on the bow. Dopey zombie. I want to put the dopey zombie on guard duty, you know. Going across the bridge. I leveled up. Enchantment point earned. Uh, 
feel like this is the way to go. The way we're going. Because we're just encountering so much opposition. Seems like this is the correct direction. So many arrows wasted. Not really wasted, burnt through. I think that sounds more accurate. You can't rotate the camera that I can tell. It is this static view, which is kind of problematic. You should be able to, you know, twist it around. Okay. Okay. Interesting little inn there in the middle of the, of the, all the baddies. Okay, spiders go down just as easily. As you would think. Did not damage the environment, answers that question. Spiders are cowardly. Oh no, I'm trapped. Okay, so when they get you webbed, then they come at you. Yeah, come on. Come on, brave, uh, brave guys. You're so brave. Treasure pig? Is that what that was? Okay, we've got hunter's armor. So, should put that on. Now we got better, better that. Let's have a fishing pole, which is dumb because it's not for fishing. It's for dragging the nearest mob to you to stun them. I feel like this game would be a whole hell of a lot more fun with friends. This game feels like the sort of thing that would just be a blast um, playing with a party of people you know. Like, like Diablo. I still play Diablo every once in a blue moon, every couple of weeks. Sean and Andrea talk me into playing it with them and you know it's fun that way it, it is fun to play with friends you know Sean Andrea Chelsea and myself will party up and it'll be the four of us and we will you know make our way through the dungeons of Diablo 3 time and time again uh, yeah I get a little bit bored with it because I've played it a bunch and I don't really want to see it all again um, but like this is the sort of this sort of thing feels much like Diablo. This feels a lot like Diablo three in the sense that I think doing this with a party of three or four other people would be much more fun uh, than just going through a solo. Because this isn't bad. I'm not hating this, but it's also you know it's not the best one of these. Find the exit. It's right next to us. All right. Wait. Hold on. We got enemies coming in. Uh, the 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 world is constant, even in offline mode. So if you try to go into your um, if you try to go into your inventory and do inventory management while mobs are approaching. You'll start getting hit. I learned that the hard way. 
Um, so we need to enchant this guy. Okay. Not nearly as cool as my leeching one, but we'll take it. Pretty valuable on those big guys. Try to shoot me through the fence. Kill the lamb. Don't get any meat out of it, though. What the heck? Killed so many things. Dynamite blows up big. New objective, escape the creeper woods. Wool farmer. What is this? Okay. Okay, we're gonna wear the wolf armor. Feel, fill up my health. Things aren't breakable, which I think is kind of a drag. Yeah, these games are known for being able to like roll through blocks and stuff. I think that's a misstep. These villagers are free from the clasp of the illagers. The illagers. Uh, if this was not available on Game Pass, I absolutely would not be playing it. But because it's on Game Pass, you know, like... I'm all about taking a look at it. I like the creeper anatomy thing back there. All right, so we're back in camp. We have a blacksmith now. Gave me what I already had. Okay, interesting. So now we have a couple different options at camp now. Got ourselves a little in. There's where that creeper anatomy thing was that we saw earlier. The creeper painting. I mean, it's very obviously a Minecraft game when you look at it. There's no guessing where this comes from. Let's do another mission. Oh, okay. Now we have four missions to choose from. Redstone Mines. Cacti Canyon. 
pumpkin pastures. Soggy swamp. So. Looking at these two, these are areas where I should go. I'm under leveled for that one. So let's do Soggy Swamp. Let's check out the Soggy Swamp. I see slime cubes. Some substantial load times on this version. Uh, we're playing on a base level Xbox. I would hope a 1X would be snappier. Um, but I don't know from experience. A common of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Yeah, like the fact that you can't rotate the camera, I find irritating. Um, I say as I accidentally heal myself trying everything. I pushed all the buttons to see if any of them rotated the camera. And in doing so. Oh, baby zombie. Oh, baby guys are fast. Did a loop. Okay. No, I saw someone approaching. Illager wizard. So can we... Okay, watch those guys. They'll try to potion you. I knew I saw a baby running around this way. I'm not gonna let you get me from behind. Little kid zombie. Come on, guys. Sounds like an awful backing up noise. So many spells.
There. Did all that. Illagers with axes, man. Creepy in the same way, a similar way to the way the uh, villagers were in um, Resident Evil 4. Everybody just die. Hack and slash my way out of that. Controller batteries are low. Well, good thing we're not gonna play for too much longer. Where's the last? There it is. Found it. Find the cauldron. Step off? Cool. We can step off there. Boss fight, maybe? Okay, we uh, destroyed the Enderman. That was a totally a boss fight. He had a health bar and everything. Like a big health bar, not one of these little tiny ones like these guys have. I'm trying to get through this before the batteries die. Get to the cauldron. Where did the marker go? Not being able to turn the camera is a definite knock on the game. Like it's a fine game, but being able to rotate the camera would be perfect. finesse at this point. I'm just gonna go at him.
Just keeps going. This level never ends. I like my wolf armor, I'll give it that. Game gave me pretty cool armor early on. Yeah, this seems like it would be much, much, much more fun with friends. Much in the same way Diablo is more fun with friends. A very long level. Very, very long level. to make of the fact that that chest kind of screamed at me as it dumped out the emeralds. Zombie looked bummed out. His buddy died. You see that? He was like, oh. How do I get over to there? Oh, shoot, I died. That was quick. Crap that I can't shoot from up here. Mm-hmm. 
quit twitching. Need to heal up. I love the zombies just laying on the ground twitching. Like a little one down here in the lower left. healing up. There we go. Broke the cauldron. Not terribly difficult. Utterly doable. Okay, so was our polynerdic playtest of Minecraft Dungeons. You saw the first two levels minus the uh, the opening, the tutorial level. Um, like it, uh, all it's doing right now is it's giving me my post post mission reward, um, some sort of loot. Uh, harvester. Looks like a book, a tome, if you will. I'm back in camp now. Literally, that's the, the arc of the game. You you take a, a quest, you complete the quest, you return to camp, you get some loot. It's uh, The loot is tiered, you know, based on what difficulty you're playing on. You get better loot on better, on higher difficulties. Um... I just got a new weapon for my emeralds because you can exchange 80 emeralds for a random item at the blacksmith. Um, it's a fun game. It it's, seems like it'd be a lot of fun with friends. Probably more so with friends, just like uh, Diablo is. It's way more fun with friends. It is definitely Diablo light. It is Diablo in the Minecraft world. It is Minecraft Dungeons. Um, that's going to be... Our, it for the playtest. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, you see some social links right here at the bottom. They're also right there in chat, along with rules and something about the podcast and our Discord. Um, just uh, hit any and all of those links. Like, follow, subscribe, all those places. Bookmark polynerdic.com so you see all this stuff that goes live. I'm usually post scheduling posts at about 7 in the morning. Um, so the first post of the day will go up at 7 and then any subsequent posts will go up throughout the day if you follow us on social media though and bookmark that website you'll never miss a thing just like you'll never miss these live streams uh, you'll never miss anything we do if you like, follow, and subscribe all those places and if you're feeling generous we have a coffee and a Patreon um, that you can donate to all proceeds go towards making this a better production, uh, better webcam, better lighting, uh, maybe eventually a, a designated space that's not my living room with a noisy air conditioner in it. Um, all those goals will be achievable. Um, and if you just want to participate in that, there's the means to do it. You know, I'm not, I'm still trying to get affiliate 
Uh, I'm not there yet. I am just missing the viewership to, to be an affiliate. Um, so if you want to help with that, stick to stay stay tuned for uh, more stuff, or stick around for more stuff. Um, stick tuned is what I almost said there. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get this to affiliate level. Um, I know we're miles away from partner, but we're this close to affiliate. Uh, so if you can help us out, that's appreciated. Um, appreciated. Um, that does it for this particular video. It's almost seven o'clock as I record this. Uh, I'm going to post this tomorrow morning. So this will go up on Wednesday on polynark.com and on the YouTube channel. Um, but if you're here live, stay tuned for more. We're going to switch consoles uh, and we might end the evening with a couple hours of Warzone. Um, thanks you, thank you for watching. I'll see you very shortly with something else.